for modern astronomers, there is a slightly different definition to the word constellation than what early astronomers, or even many people today, have. Early astronomers gave the patterns they saw in the sky names and attributed legends and myths to the shapes they saw. Most people today still think of the word constellation much in the same way. However, in modern astronomy, the sky is divided into 88 sections, or constellations. Instead of just being small numbers of stars in familiar shapes, constellations are areas of the night sky. For example, you might be looking for a star located in Orion, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the star you're looking for makes up the shape of the famous hunter. Constellations are divided into various shapes and sizes, with Hydra being the largest and Crux being the smallest. People often think of these sections of sky as stars that are relatively close together, making up the shape of a bear hunter miraculously. It is important though to understand that this is not the case. While there are star clusters where the stars are relatively close to each other, most constellations only appear this way from our earthly vantage point. If you were to move behind these constellations or to the side of them, they would look nothing like what we see from our planet. Even time itself will change the way they appear to us. For this reason, and more, it's much easier and useful to define constellations today as sections of the sky in which a star or an object always has a home.